talking a lot about the coronavirus and we have a lot of questions. So we are all obviously very thankful that you're yes. Dr. Yes. Oz. Yes, you're a very well-respected, America's trusted doctor. <laughs> I'm clearly not handling this as well as you are and some other people. <laughs> Cut straight um, to the chase, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> and I'll admit it, it's fine. I'm really on an 11. But a part of it is because there's been just such mixed messaging coming out of the White House. Mm -hmm. And even as simple as, can I ask the president not to shake someone's hand in a press conference when he's asking us not to? Um, there's a state of emergency. Um, in your medical opinion, I think a lot of people are scared about the lack of testing, um, mm -hmm. the lack of ventilators for possible patients. Um, do you think the response has been fast enough? In retrospect, of course not. Mm -hmm. Everyone would agree that it has not been fast enough. I just want to be a bit more uh, thoughtful about the reality of where we were even a few weeks ago. It takes a while to change the minds of people. Mm -hmm. And one thing I've heard from some of our elected leaders is that if you go completely on your own, doing what everyone thinks you should do medically, but leave the public behind, they don't come for the ride. Mm. So I would have gone faster. Any doctor who was knowledgeable in this area would agree. Uh, but there are also some political realities. As a good example, here in New York City, we just shut down the school system. But it didn't happen at first. Yeah. Now, there was medical reasons to shut it down. There are political reasons not to shut it down. Most of the kids live in homes which are, which are difficult for them to, to deal with. They're not in stable environments. Who's going to watch the kids? Well, you know, if the nurses Food. are watching their kids, they, they can't go to work. Food. Food. Yeah. So uh, it's where they get most of their meals. So I'm mm. respectful of those political realities. But what I'm very happy about is we are all, I believe, on the same page now. It is easy, I think, for any elected official to do what is medically indicated. And I do, I'm going to come out here and say it, I think we need a national, national approach yeah. to this so people aren't left having to make their own decisions. Because not all of our leadership agrees or understands the implications, the ramifications if we mishandle this. Because yeah. if we mm -hmm. do, it'll be truly... A, uh, an event that none of us will ever forget. Yeah. The and number if we of lives don't lost. all act and little pockets aren't reacting, yeah. it stays. Exactly. Yeah. So you almost have that. You it's can't a, curb It's got to be a full blanket. But, yeah. But you know, Dr. Oz, we've been talking, um, and I've been mentioning it over and over again. There's an economic side to this that not enough people, I think, are talking about because you have, you know, 59% of Americans, they live paycheck to paycheck. Um, and if you are asking people to stay at home from work, they've got to make the decision, stay at home from work or feed my family, go to work and feed my family. Now, during a press conference yesterday, President Trump asked about a House bill. I was asked about a House bill that exempts companies of 500 or more from offering uh, paid sick leave. He says they're working on it. But can you explain why people would really need to stay home to curb this virus and they need the economic support to be able to do that? Well, I'll give you a very blunt example. People have to be truthful. If you're a father, and I'll speak as a dad, and your kids are hungry and you feel like you've got a fever, a cough, and, uh, and you're fatigued, which means you might have the coronavirus, pretty good odds, mm -hmm. and you know you'll be out of work without a job if you don't go to work, you're not going to tell anybody. Yeah. Uh, and I have spoken to some of our like, leaders in Congress about this bill. I, I don't see how it could possibly fail. Here's mm -hmm. what we need. Rapidly, rapidly get money in the people's hands. Mm -hmm. We need it for the economy anyway, but give it to the 60% of people who do live paycheck to paycheck. Mm -hmm. Let them make the best decision for themselves and their family and their country by rewarding them financially for doing that. And I wouldn't limit it to, to companies 500 employees or lower. The entire country is suffering. This is what our tax dollars are for. Right. Right. If we don't spend it now, what's the point of paying taxes? Mm -hmm. yeah. Invest it now, save our bottoms, and, and across the board do it. Don't finagle, why 500, 750? Just everybody gets it. Take money out of the equation, deal with the health issue. And if we suffocate this virus, this pandemic now, mm -hmm. it's going to be a short-term issue. I'm thinking six to eight weeks until mm -hmm. we really get past the worst of this. And that's based on thought conversations I've had with some thought leaders and uh, epidemiologists. That's okay, you know, that's the finish line, guys. Okay. Let's all do it together, but do it right. Doing it part way won't get us there. Okay. Okay, so the White House revised its guidelines from um, uh, lowering the suggested group gatherings from 50 to 10. Is that gonna make a difference or should we be jumping and take, following San Francisco's lead with the, what's the term, self-shelter or? Yep. Shelter, in shelter, in shelter in place. Shelter in place. Mm -hmm. Should we ju be jumping to that? In urban areas, I would shelter in place, especially if you're at risk. Comorbid problems like high blood pressure or diabetes count, by the way, cardiovascular disease, because you don't die just from lungs, you also die because your blood vessels clot off. Okay. So those folks should be self-sheltering. Sh but I think across the country, telling people, I, don't be in groups greater than t 10 or 12, whatever number you think is magical, is the rational thing to do. Basically, hang with your family. Yeah. Stay in that pod, mm -hmm. stay healthy. Even within your home, you may have to quarantine.
Okay. Wow. Wow. Yeah, there's wow. a lot of conflicting information about social distancing, which that means stay six feet apart from people when you're out in public. Um, why do you think some people think this is an overreaction? Well, when they write wrap in the card behind your head, should I wrap? Oh. <laughs> yeah.